Tomorrow, after the pandemic, you'd think we'd have our health system sorted. So why are patients still suffering in hospital corridors and car parks? We take a look at the ongoing health crisis. Plus, have we found the ultimate Elvis mega fan? We'll see you from 5.30. One, two, three, four. Families can save up to $2,400 a year with Audi. So, roll where the trolley takes you. Lose yourself to low prices. It's a vibe. Audi, good, different. Let's go to finance news now. The All Ordinaries closed higher today, up nearly 1.5%. The tech sector led the gains, rising 4.6%, while utilities took a hit from AGL's ditched plans to split the company. And one Australian dollar is buying nearly 72 US cents and 56 pence. It's been a big day with the weather. Let's get the latest. Here's Jessica. Yeah, well, thankfully, some breaks on the radar at the moment across Adelaide. Certainly some dry skies for now here down at Marino. But there are some more showers that sort of peppering in for some suburbs already. So don't be surprised if you hear a little bit of rain on the roof tonight. But it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like last night. So that's good. Uh, it's only around 14 degrees in the city at the moment. And across the suburbs, of course, we saw so much big weather around, particularly overnight, those northern suburbs that saw, you know, a month's worth of rain in more than a month's worth of rain in just one one night. 72 millimetres at Hermitage, 70 millimetres at Golden Grove and the winds at Outer Harbour were 82 k's an hour at around 5 a.m. The winds were also rocketing through even up inland. We reached 93 k's an hour at Woomera this morning and some big rains in the Flinders too. Melrose received 51 millimetres. Kangaroo Island wasn't left out with 35 millimetres at King's Coat, but in the southeast, well, what a contrast. Mount Gambia barely had anything, I think a couple of millimetres. Now, if you look to see where our air is coming from tomorrow, you can see all those white arrows whipping up from the south. Those winds will be dragging very icy air over us. And it's not just here in SA. The snow is starting to coat the Victorian Alps as we prepare for a couple of days of blizzard-like conditions on our highlands interstate. A very windy one for SA tomorrow. Port Lincoln could be very gusty with 16 and an icy pool of air is sweeping in. Claire, get ready for this, just 11 degrees. Nuriutpa, windy and cold, also 11. And showers persisting at Victor Harbour with a wet 14. Right now we still have severe weather warnings for damaging winds stretching in a, quite a long band from Lee Creek all the way down to Mount Gambia, easing tonight before picking up again tomorrow. A Goula River flood catchment warning has been cancelled for now, but we still do have warnings for floodwaters from Queensland flowing into our state through the northeast there. And it's wild by the water with gale force wind warnings for many regional coastlines tomorrow and strong wind warnings for Adelaide's coast with southwesterlies to 30 knots and seas to 3 metres. In addition to the showers around Adelaide tomorrow, you'll notice the cold. Just 11 for Mount Barker, 13 for Elizabeth and gusty winds. Just 14 in the city and I have to say those winds will probably make it feel even colder. Some showers too. Now Wednesday and Thursday are a little bit like break days, a little overcast. Still the chance of some light showers. But after that, um, the rain is actually ramping up again. Friday, Saturday and Sunday are looking quite wet, but not as wet as last night, Kate and Brendan. Hello, Winter. Thank you so much, Jessica. That's Nine News to the Minute. Thanks for joining us. We'll have further updates a little later, but stay watching now for A Current Affair. Good night.